Michael McCaw joins us on the phone live. Good morning to you. We certainly appreciate you joining us from Washington, D.C. this morning. In a case like this, the first thing that I heard reported was is that, that we didn't have to worry about that. But there, I, there have to still be concerns about that being a possibility, right? Well, you can't rule it out completely. Um, at this point in time, it's being handled as a criminal investigation, uh, not by the Joint Terrorism Task Force. So that's very instructive in terms of uh, the evidence coming in and how they perceive this case. But it's way too early and preliminary in the investigation to, uh, to rule it out completely. Um, I, I do think you're dealing with an individual that had uh, mental illness issues, uh, possibly PTSD, uh, which which led to this uh, unfortunate tragic shooting. This you know, I, got, I must say this hits uh, hard and it hits home uh, for me. I went to the ceremony uh, when we had the 13 soldiers killed by Major Hassan, and it's so tragic to see uh, Fort Hood uh, struck down once again. Uh, and it just demonstrates how soft our military bases still are. They are still a target not only of, of terrorists but. Uh, people with possibly PTSD issues. And I think we need to look at how we can harden uh, these military bases where our military are utterly defenseless uh, to these types of shootings. And so I think uh, Congress is gonna be taking a look at this uh, in terms of how we can make them safer. Now, Congressman, you are chairman of the Homeland Security Committee. So this apparently has to be something that your committee will be looking at, and that is the security for military posts and or bases. Since 2009, have you seen an improvement that could have possibly prevented what happened yesterday? Yeah, not really. I, I think the Department of Defense came out with a, a report with recommendations. We'll be examining uh, how many of those recommendations have really been implemented. Part of my job is prevention, uh, to stop things like this from happening, particularly on our military bases, which we know are still vulnerable. But the fact uh, that this guy could, could drive on the base with a 45 caliber pistol um, and, and wound uh, 14 and kill uh, four others uh, just shows you that it's still, we're still not where we need to be. Um, and um, I think that's something that we'll be looking at in terms of our oversight capability in the Congress to, to harden uh, these military bases. This is just uh, one of many, many cases out there, both terrorism related, uh, but also uh, mental illness cases where we've seen shooters come onto bases. Uh, and frankly, in Fort Hood, we were able to stop a, a, a terrorist attack where a terrorist was gonna blow up a Chinese restaurant and kill uh, soldiers from Fort Hood uh, at that restaurant. We were very lucky uh, in that case. Unfortunately, we were not so lucky uh, you know, yesterday. Oh no, it's, it's a tough thing, especially with it being in our own backyard. Exactly. I feel that we feel so connected to Fort Hood in the Houston area. And at this point, we haven't heard a whole yeah. lot about the victims. Have you heard about anything about them, perhaps if any of them might have been from the Houston area? You know, I, I have not. We have not gotten uh, received a list of all the, the victims and their names. Um, obviously, the Department of Defense is uh, protective uh, at this point for obvious reasons. Um, but, uh, you know, we know that most of them were, were uh, active duty uh, soldiers. So they say soldier on soldier. That just means that you have one active duty soldier killing other soldiers like Major Hassan did. And so... Um, it's really hard and painful and difficult to accept this kind of tragedy, why one soldier active duty would kill other active duty soldiers. Um, and to, for it to happen again at Fort Hood, um, again, as I said, hits home and hard uh, and very difficult to accept. But we need to look at this and uh, from a lessons learned standpoint, how can we change this? I, I think it's unacceptable uh, so long now after what Major Hassan did for Fort Hood and other military bases uh, to be that vulnerable and that soft of a target when we know the threats to our military bases are real uh, and they've been demonstrated historically. So we need to uh, learn how to harden these uh, uh, military bases uh, better than what we're doing right now. Congressman Michael McCall, Chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, thank you so very much for joining us this morning and weighing in on another Thanks, tragic Jose. situation. Thanks, Thanks for having well, me. Well, we do it. realize it's a busy time for you, and we are very appreciative. Good to hear from him today. Well, it's